Now let's say I was born. I was born in 1976. If I was born in 1976, in which year my age will be equal to will be equal to last two digits of my year of birth of year of birth simply my year of birth is 1976 in which year my age will be equal to the last two digits of my year of birth last two digits of my year of birth 76 so simply i was born in 1976 plus my age should be 76 year of birth plus age so answer will be 2052 my year of birth in which year my age will be equal to last two digits of year of birth my age should be year of birth plus present age in that year now i make the question in the reverse manner let's say i make the question in 2052 my age will be equal to last two digits of my year of birth year of birth so now when was i born now let's say right now we know very well that i cannot be born in 2000 something but let's say right now i was born means I was born in the year 1900 plus X simply last two digits like even 1976 can be written as 1900 plus 76 X represents last two digits of my year of birth I was born in year 1900 plus X simply X is last two digits of year of so last two digits can be anything between 0 0 and in which year my age will be equal to last two digits x in 2052 in 2052 my age will be equal to x and x is nothing but last two digits of my year of birth so let's say I was born 1900 plus X as we saw we can write 1976 as 1900 plus 76 or 1929 we can write as 1900 plus 29 same way I'm talking so we get 2x equal to 152 x is 26 sorry x is 76 so simply I was born in year 1976 in 2052 my age will be equal to last two digits of my year of birth but this is what we know very well that i cannot be born after 2000 but let's say these e-learning classes become very popular and after two three hundred years someone makes the question even it may happen that i was born in 2000 plus y means my year of birth was 2000 plus y last two digits of year of birth means my year of birth can be 2026 2010 right now we know it's not possible but simply if it's 2026 i can write as 2000 plus 26 same way we're talking plus my age y in 2052 it can be possible but right now we know but futuristically it's possible my age y so 2y equal to 52 y is 26 means even if someone makes it after 200 years even this is possible i was born in 2026 and in year 2052 my age equal to last two digits means such two answers are always possible in these kind of questions one the present year and one the one the present century when we say 2052 present century 2000 and previous 1900 now if someone says why not 1800 something is it possible that i am born in 1800 something if i am born in 1800 something last two digits of year of birth said present age said year of birth age and we are talking of 2052 2z equal to 252 
z this is wrong last two digits can be between we all know 00 to 99 it cannot be more than that so this is what is not possible this is means either it's possible present century or it's possible previous century now the question says here in year 1930 in 1930 grandfather will be as old as his year of birth we know in such cases two cases are possible one present century so this has to be grandson and this has to be grandfather obviously grandfather will be born first so let's say grandson was born we have seen in a practice the last two digits of year of birth 1900 plus x his present age x this is grandson's year of birth his present age in 1930 we get 2x is 30 x is 50 means grandson was born in 1915 present age 15 in year 1930 1915 is year of birth this thing and grandfather obviously cannot be born in 1900 so let's say grandfather was born last two digits of year of birth why grandfather's year of birth his age y in 1930 so we get 2y equal to 130 y is 65 grandfather's year of birth present age y last two digits this thing so we get 65 means grandson's present age 15 grandfather's present age 65 summation of their present age is 80 15 65 there should not be any doubt 1700 or 1600 will not be possible obviously grandfather will be born first earlier century only two such possible answers are possible in year 1930 in year 1930 grandson's age was equal to last two digits of his year of birth now 1915 can be written as 1900 plus 15 so we write year of birth 1900 plus x x is the last two digits number present age of grandson x so year 1930 year of birth plus present age x is 15 grandfather obviously he cannot be born in 1900 he will be born in 1800 something year of birth 1800 plus y present age y so what all we get 